live channels television event. Supportive and sustainable government policies. Um, I also heard about government policies yesterday. From the airlines connection to the roads, to power, to telecoms, we must be right from the onset. Security and stability. The governor talked about how Yenegua has been secured since he came on board. We cannot under, I mean, overemphasize that. Fundamental rights of our people and visitors must, and I mean, we must enjoy that as a fundamental right. We must provide that in all circumstances. That's what is happening in Bayesa State. Bayesa State is now safe to receive visitors. I'm sure we had zero incidents last night. And we've had that for some time now in Bayelsa State since this governor came. And I think um, we will continue to emphasize that now that we are, we are um, focusing on tourism. Mosté calculated, we have talked about that before. Excellent resource management, transparency, accountability, access to funds. When you get it right, if the project is bankable, you must find funds. It is when the project is not bankable that you will not see the funds. Nobody, no investor will touch you. So we must get it right from beginning in the design of projects, in the conceptualization of the projects, because people are talking about business tourism these days. And then service quality. We must be a friendly, there must be value orientation from the scratch, from our youth to our women. We must be ready for this visitor economy that the governor is trying to emphasize. If People are coming to your state and they're asking you, because I went to a place called Las Palmas. And everybody you ask in Las Palmas about a destination has an answer for you, even when they don't know. It's not like uh, these usual Lagos boys that will take you to some roundabouts and back, you know. But then, the people must be energized. We must reorientate them about the visitor economy that is about to happen in Bayelsa State. Because these foundational programs that have been, uh, projects that have been instituted cannot happen without the people buying into it. So we must all be ready and we must communicate it. We must have leaflets, we must have communication, a communication strategy, which I won't talk about. Next slide. Comparative studies. Because this topic is about comparing international best standard, uh, standards, I have done a comparative studies of all the summaries I've made of Dubai, of Egypt, of Las Vegas, and also of Bielsa State. And you can see uh, GDP there and, um, you know, next slide, please. How do we now communicate and create, next slide, a viable tourism campaign for Bielsa State? Best practice strategy suggests four components for successful tourism campaign. Segment targeting. We must target what segment that we are selling to. Who are we selling our water world to? What are we selling? Create value proposition. What are we selling? We must identify a strategy, a rich strategy. How do we reach the market, the targets? And then how do we measure and track effectiveness? How are we measuring the outcomes from this? Next slide, please. In trying to target the segments and to identify who we are selling to, we need to understand who are our customers and how to target them in order for effective market, for us to effectively market them. i give you an example. The 60 years and above, the retired and average income people from where will they be coming from? Are we targeting, for example, those from the Western Europe, North America? And what will be their interests? To see nature, ecotourism, for example. To see beaches, Akasa, Brass, Okoma, Age. And they want to explore new destinations. In trying to, next slide, in trying to create a value proposition, what are we selling? Unfortunately, something happened to the Malaysians yesterday. But you always listen to CNN. Malaysia, truly Asia. 
branding. You remember that in branding you must introduce a bit of culture. The, the elegant dressing of our women is a branding thing.